Hey, it's Tuesday Reviews Day, and we're looking today at a Cabela's Mini Light. It uh, says up to 300 lumens. It's an itty bitty light there. It's got a loop on the top for, you know, key ring, whatever else you want to do. It's got a clip there. It says it's uh, for a hat clip, and I think you can see some of the the details on the uh, the electronics of it for the uh, electronics experts out there. Um, it's just what the front of it looks like. It looks like a single LED. There's not much going on here. There's a single button. Up when so you can see it says up to 300. Who knows what it is? I don't have a thing to test it. I'm sure you could do the test, but when you th this cost about eight bucks or something like that, so you know you're not going to get uh, something with five billion candela power or anything like that. It's it's a small light for what it's for, um, and I will say that the hat clip, if you can see, is just kind of tension molded. Let's see if I can get a clear shot right here. It's just. It's just kind of tension molded in there, and if you try to put it on a hat, that clip is likely to uh, pop off of there. So it's not the strongest clip. It will do if you get it weaseled into place, and uh, yeah, you can get it onto your hat. It will hold onto your hat. The clip's actually pretty strong, but it will pop off of that uh, that molded portion right there. Looks like it's called the CML. 300R. It is rechargeable. I'm looking at. There we go. Um, it is rechargeable. The rechargeable port is right there. There's the recharge port right there. Just pull that tab up, and you've got a little got that recharge port there. It does come with the cable. I haven't had to recharge it yet. Battery life seems to be okay. Um, now if we turn it on, uh, I don't know, I'm about three feet away from the wall. You can see it there. So it's it's a perfect amount of light for your keys or maybe a hat if you've got it set in place uh, and you just want to do some work for a second and you forgot all of your other headlamps and all that other stuff. You can clip this on there as your emergency kind of backup light. And this is what you've got for the documentation. It comes in a kind of a plastic. There you go with the brightness, 350 and 10 for the high, medium, low. Runtime hours, uh, one, one and a half, and nine. The waterproofing there is IPX4. On the other side, it shows you the features. Up to 300 lumen high output LED, mini, mini size and lightweight for ultimate portability, multi-use for hat clip, keychain or everyday carry, built-in USB-C rechargeable lithium ion battery, perfect $8 light for when you don't have another light available and you just happen to remember that you carry this every day, it's nice and small, uh, it's about the size of a thumb drive, and that, the problem is that the hat brim is a little bit too thick. So if you try to get this onto a hat, it is kind of a pain in the butt to get it on there. You can do it though. It is possible. Not a bad little light for eight bucks. And since it's rechargeable, you'll get a lot of life out of it. That's, that's not bad. So I did do a time lapse on this flashlight. And you might notice a couple of bumps in the road on the time lapse. Uh, it is a, a true time lapse as far as the test is concerned, but the filming of it didn't go quite as planned. The My phone battery actually died before the light itself died. The packaging does say that the highest setting will last an hour and you will notice right around an hour 15 to an hour 20 or so the light visibly gets a little bit dimmer so the packaging is pretty accurate on that but as far as it dying at all uh, completely 
as far as it dying completely, uh, you'll see from the time lapse that it'll last quite a while. And at the at the end of it, there's not a whole lot of light coming out of there, but it is still alive for a very long time. What I couldn't show outdoors was you will see this red light when the flashlight needs to be recharged. And it takes about an hour and a half from a full dead battery to charge up and then you'll see that it turns blue here. And that's what it looks like. It's pretty neat. Pretty tough little light. There's it could uh, it could be improved on the hat clip portion if you're gonna feature that as a as a, one of the items on the packaging that you're advertising. Maybe make it a little bit more reasonable to use as a hat clip, and it really wouldn't take much. It could still even be the tension uh, grip on there, but you need to make it just a touch longer because the brim of most baseball caps is going to be too thick for that thing to work so really just some minor minor adjustments and it could be it could be that much better but for what it is for eight dollars great little light uh, to keep handy either with your keys keep one in your car for emergencies um, if you're not the type of person who carries a flashlight every single day you could get a few of these and put them around in different spots so that you have one available uh, when things go wrong and you need to be able to see at night. Um, great great little gadget to have around especially for eight bucks. Not not a bad uh, not bad at all. It's, it's really really well priced for what it can be used for and the fact that it's rechargeable you're not going to be dumping money into batteries. <laughs> Like I showed you with the time lapse, you do have a very accurate um, timing as far as how long the battery lasts. And it actually lasts a little bit longer than what it says on high, hour and 20 minutes or so. So all in all, I, I'm, I'm glad that I purchased this. I did purchase it for them. My main purpose was to get it as a hat clip uh, with the hat clip function so that I could uh, stick it on my hat if I needed to so I don't have to walk around and have a headlamp. I could just have this little light here and it could use both of those functions. But even without that capability, the clip's still useful for other things. You could stick it in your pocket or whatever. Um, yeah, a great, great little toy. Also getting dark outside and the way that I had set the, uh, the light up it's uh, facing one of our windows in our bookcase there so it was getting dark outside while the light was being tested so probably not the best environment but the, the, the information is legitimate that's what I wanted to get out of it was how long will this light actually last before it completely shuts off and it was quite a long time to make this uh, If you use a flashlight the way most people would use this type of flashlight, that's going to translate into much, much longer than uh, four hours as far as uh, use time. And by that I mean on an average day, maybe you turn it on a couple, couple minutes here and there. That's not going to eat into that four hour battery life very much at all. So you're going to be able to carry it around for very long time before you have to charge it. 